for Jews everywhere, the Hebrew month of Elul is a time for reflection on the past year, repentance, renewal, and growth as we prepare for the start of a new year and the annual cycle of Jewish holidays and touch points. It's a transition when we can reflect on all that has happened in the past year and look ahead to all the possibilities of a new year. It's an opportunity to start anew with our intentions for 5782. Each of us has our own unique story for the past emotionally turbulent year. Last year, I called upon all of us to be resilient. Resilient so we could find meaning in virtual high holiday services, in meeting the needs of our members, in welcoming new members and ideas, and in charting our Jewish and human future. This community has shown resilience in meeting the challenges, not only of our community, but in our personal lives, whether we were directly or indirectly impacted by COVID. Psychologist Alan Elkin said that in the spring, when we saw the pandemic getting better, we had a sense of realistic hopefulness. This helps us know that the current setback will not last forever. So despite all that has happened, we should be optimistic about the year to come and thankful. It's our great fortune to be living at a time when advances in science brought us COVID tests and vaccines and in an area where the vast majority of people are vaccinated and wear masks when needed. At Adat Shalom, we are thankful to have knowledgeable, spiritual, and compassionate leaders, Rabbi Fred and Rabbi Hazan Rachel, and our Executive Director, Rena Milchberg. Their commitment to our cherished community during the uncharted times we faced this past year is unsurpassed. Our thanks to our board have, who have yet to have a face-to-face -face meeting. And kudos to the Adat Shalom volunteers who have enriched our communal lives and made it possible for so many of us to stay connected in a variety of ways. And with appreciation to our COVID advisory group who helped us evaluate the risks and benefits of gathering in person. Although many of us enjoy the brief taste of small in-person services and gatherings, for now it looks as if hybrid and sometimes just virtual gatherings will be the primary way we are together for a while longer. We will also take advantage of our wonderful outdoor space whenever weather cooperates. We know that Adat Shalom is a special, sacred community. And in that, we have a lot to be thankful for. Our community has been and continues to be our strength. We need to deepen our communal bonds and reach out to one another with greater regularity. This coming year, we look forward to strong programs that will enhance our learning, our personal, religious, and or spiritual development, and our social justice and environmental activism. In this Shemitah year of 5782, caring for creation and one another speaks to us with a heightened sense of urgency, and we need to make every effort to heed that call. Our greatest sense of optimism revolves around our youth. The revamped Youth Education Program Limud at Adat Shalom is underway. We're thrilled to have a new, exciting curriculum built on Reconstructionist principles and joyful, experiential learning using multiple forms of expression. We're excited to be focusing on family-centered learning in community. Our educators, including our clergy, will inspire and connect with youth. And what about the larger community of Jews, who according to national polls, 
don't connect with Jewish institutions the way their parents or grandparents did. There is a work group that is identifying ways that I, Adat Shalom can, can and should speak to this younger generation who do not always see how Judaism connects with their lives. We look forward to their recommendations. Although we had hoped that the all clear would have sounded once vaccines were readily available, we're going to have to wait a bit longer for that. So in this year, in addition to resilience, we ask you to join us in looking ahead with hope and optimism, along with a healthy dose of flexibility. Together, as a community, we will find new, low-risk ways to come together, support one another, and enhance our spiritual life in 5782. Shana Tova.